Good morning. Well, you might notice something a little different today. We are hunting with the Manticore. I just bought it and it arrived this week. Super excited to try this out. I took it down to Spanish Banks. Uh, this is where I found silver coins in the past and I've heard the Manticore is really good on uh, deep silver coins. So it's gonna be my first run with this machine. It's so different from the Equinox line. That's gonna take me a little while to learn but I'm very excited. All right, let's get scooping. Okay, so I'm uh, running beach deep mode right now and I've uh, got the sensitivity up to 26. I did uh, uh, edit my ferrous limits lower. We'll see what happens. I think um, we might need them lower to hit on the Canadian clad. And I don't know too much about this machine yet, so we're going to not change too much else. First target was a paper clip. All right. Second target is a toonie. That rang up pretty nice. There's a kind of a spread. It kind of makes a streak on that 2D map there for the toonies. Let's see what it looks like in all metal. No? Nice. All right. See that's on the surface there, a little piece of foil. Yeah. So um, I'm in beach deep mode right now. So it's using prospecting tones, which is just a high and a low. And I believe the pitch changes um, in relation to the depth. So I think for what I'm looking for, I mean, I'm digging everything, so it, it shouldn't actually matter what the sound is. So I kind of like this two tone approach. Uh, I'm also running a fairly low recovery speed. It's kind of in the middle, I guess. It's uh, five. Looked at some uh, advice from Brass Medic on YouTube, and um, normally I run my recovery speed quite high on the Equinox, but he suggested for the Manticore to run it um, lower. So we'll see how that goes. Hmm. A really strange sounding one right here. I moved to Beach General, um, 
just gonna keep trying out different search modes for the beach right now and see how they go. Nice, okay. It was a quarter. I thought I saw a little circle on that uh, 2D map. So the 2D ID map, I probably would have ignored that on the 900 just because of how junky it sounded and it was jumping all over the place. But then I saw that little circle on the 2D target map. And that told me that even though there was stuff ringing up all over the place in the iron and stuff, that there was a nice solid round conductive signal there. At least I think that's what it means, because now I've got a quarter. Ah. Uh, tent stake, of course. Okay, so those are 16. Tiny, whatever it is. Yeah, there's a tiny piece of copper. Or, hmm, I don't know what that is. Actually, it looks like it's gold plated something, a little shard of a. Uh... Jewelry, maybe? Hmm. All right, got my first pull tab on the Manticore, and that was like a ten. I mean, it's quite odd. Sounds a little more promising.
Hmm. American penny. Can't get a date off that one right now. Oh, sweet. No way. That's been in there for a while. I mean, that's got to be silver. I think I see some marks on it, but I'll have to look a little closer at home. I mean, it's been buried, that's like maybe six, six inches down, and it was in the roots, so it's been there for a while. That is awesome. All right, Manticore is paying off. What did that ring up as? Fifty-eight. Twenty-five, all the way across the line. So that was half a pull tab. iron down there. Let's see if I can get it out and see what it is. Oh, wow, it's... Oh, jeez.
large, deep piece of iron. Whoa. That's pretty crazy. Nice. Got ourselves a Young Liz Penny, What do we got? It's a uh, bobby pin, but there's, oh, well, we'll call that jewelry. Nice. I see something right there. I think it's a quarter. Yep, fresh quarter. So uh, just a little update on my settings. So I'm on beach deep now with um, the setting uh, set sensitivity at 29. And uh, it uses the prospecting tones on the deep mode, which I really like actually. It, it reminds me of what I hear um, when people use the dais uh, on the beach, which is what uh, Monterey Magnet Man seems to be using to find all his gold right now. So maybe I'll... Uh, start finding some better stuff. I do like uh, the way that the tones come in for that. It's a little cleaner, especially on noisy beaches. Sure is a lot of foil on this beach though. But um, I gotta say, like running 29, I never would have thought I would do that on any of our beaches with the amount of black sand we have and just bits and pieces of trash. I feel like 29 is going to cut pretty deep if there's anything really good below me. No silver coins yet, but uh, that silver ring had been there for a while. And I swear I've been over that area three or four times with the Equinox. just cans littered everywhere. I mean, I don't have room in my pouch for all these, so someone else will have to come get them.
fresh shield penny. So I think when the 2D map shows that smudge just all the way up and down, I'm pretty sure that's going to mean pull tab every time. We'll uh, keep experimenting and see if that's what that... Yeah, that was pull tab. Tent stake. Oh, you are kidding me. Oh, it's just plated, but wow. All right. Two rings for the day. Nice. Nice. Pretty deep quarter. Welcome to the wrap-up. So I think we'll call that a successful first run of the Manticore. I went through all the beach modes off and on. Um, I think my favorite for this beach is the deep mode uh, with the prospecting tones but all of the modes seem to work quite well. It's definitely a brand new machine compared to the Equinox, so it's going to take some time to learn, but I'm going to enjoy every minute of it. It's a great machine. It's got a whole bunch of garbage, as usual. A couple of uh, functional lighters, a toonie, some quarters, a young Liz penny, American penny, a little hair clip, uh, odds and ends, some interesting beach glass, I think. This piece of beach glass might actually be uranium glass, just the, the type of green that it is and the way it lights up in the sun. I'm gonna hit it with a black light when I get home. And we got two rings for the day. So this one's just a plated uh, blinger, pretty heavy. And this one has to be silver, really has to be. Um, there's a little stamp on the back here I can't make out. And just how deep it was, the way it was uh, way it's tarnished up like that. I mean, nothing nothing else does that but silver. So that's awesome. That's been there for a while. That was deep and within the plant roots and stuff. And I hit this area, um, I've hit it many times over the years, and I mean, I don't know, I guess I just missed it. Everybody else who detects this beach also missed it, but the Manticore found it. No silver coins today, but I'm definitely coming back here. Um, I'd really given up on this beach, honestly, with the Equinox. Uh, machines uh, just seemed like there really wasn't anything to find um, and then in the black sand it was just still too noisy even uh, as good as the equinox is the black sand over here uh, is just really bad so the Manticore handled it with pretty much no issue all right well um, thanks so much for watching remember to like and subscribe 
Until next time, this is Scoopy Joe, out.